Good afternoon guys, hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. Today I wanted to take a pause, a break from all the travel content I'm currently making and film something a little bit different for you guys. As of recently, I've been getting a lot of messages and comments as to my controversial decision to travel full-time abroad in 2020 and 2021. Now, first off, let me make a disclaimer. This is by no means encouraging you guys to travel, but simply I just wanted to share my experiences as to what it's been like for the last three to four months traveling abroad, traveling to several different countries. And one thing that interests me is what is your idea, what is your opinion of traveling at this time in February 2021? You know, have you guys been traveling abroad? Have you guys been traveling from city to city? What's your experience been like? And what are your opinions on traveling at this time? Do you guys think that traveling is something that can be done safely? Or do you think that just simply it's not the right time or moment to be doing it? So between March of 2020 and September 2020, I've been basically saving up every single dollar that I had owned and made working in the United States so that I could travel for one full year abroad with really no need to make an income and have to worry about where's, when's the next paycheck going to come in. So as you guys know, now it's February and I'm basically halfway through my, well, almost halfway through my savings and hopefully by the point of September, I will be committed enough into YouTube where I won't have to be worrying about making another income and simply just make more content for you guys. Now my decision to travel, of course, is gonna be controversial to some, and I typically don't make videos like this where I'm just sharing my personal feelings, my personal opinions about situations because of course they're gonna be divisive, of course they're gonna be controversial. People are more than welcome to share their own feelings and opinions and everything. In life, I feel that what, whatever you're doing in life, whether it be sports, driving your car, driving your scooter, or traveling to another country, there are going to be risks with everything you do. And I think ultimately you have to factor the risks and the benefits and whether you're willing to take some risks more than others. And to me, travel is something that keeps me happy and keeps me stable. In September, I felt that there was a point to where I could do it safely, and so far I have been doing it safely. Now, it doesn't mean that I can't get sick tomorrow or a month from now or several months from now. And one of the ways that I'm doing that is, of course, by masking up anywhere I go. At the moment, there's nobody around me, so there's really no reason for me to, me to be masked up, but However, in Indonesia, they are taking it very seriously. They do have washing stations outside every building. They have temperature checks and they have police checkpoints as well. Now, one thing that I did find very interesting the other day is that the tourism director for Indonesia, he was encouraging locals in Indonesia to travel to Bali because Bali has been impacted so much uh, as far as tourism, as far as economy, um, just as well as any, every other parts of the world basically. But he is currently moving to Bali because he is trying to encourage more local tourism and more economy into the island because of how severely impacted it's been. Now, another measure that I'm taking to stay safe, of course, is with health insurance. I believe it's been since March, I've had uh, travel health insurance by the name of Safety Wing. If you guys aren't familiar with Safety Wing, it's a subscription service similar to Netflix where you can pay every single month for health insurance and they really insure you for whatever tr country you're traveling to. One of the amazing features of it is that they you can customize a visa letter depending on what country you're visiting and they will state that they are insuring you completely for COVID insurance, um, which is something that some countries are requiring if you do plan to travel to it. Uh, I will have links in the description for that guys and just disclaimer, I. It is a referral link, so if you do make a subscription purchase, I do get a small kickback for that. But overall, I'm really curious what your thoughts are, guys. So please comment down below. Don't be afraid to express your own opinion. I'm really curious as to if any of you have been traveling at this time, whether it's just been to another city or as far as visiting another country. What's your experience been like with traveling at the moment? And do you feel that you can do it safely? Or do you feel that it's just better and safer to stay at home at the moment? Overall though, in my opinion, I feel that tourism and travel is just so important to the economy and to the world 
that as you guys have seen, stopping it for an indefinite period of time is really affecting families and businesses and the economy in the various countries around the world. So I feel that every day that I'm going out making expenses, making purchases, I'm supporting businesses here in Indonesia and Turkey and Mexico where I've been traveling for the last few months. However, you know, you do have to take the precaution of doing it responsibly and doing it safely. Now, two days ago, I posted a poll on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me down there, go ahead and do so because that's where I'm posting all of my live updates where I'm currently at and what I'm currently doing. So I basically asked uh, what you guys are interested in knowing of, about travel for the last three, four months that I've been abroad. And let's just go through some of them right now. Now, first one is where do you work online or how do you make an income? So I think I addressed this earlier in the video. Uh, I started saving all my money back when the pandemic began and I was back home in the States so that I could travel for one full year without having to worry about a paycheck. And basically I've been living off my savings since September, um, just focusing strictly on YouTube. And uh, I'm now basically five, four months in, so almost halfway through my savings. Uh, were you nervous about traveling? Absolutely every single day, but luckily I'm taking all the precautions and I do have travel insurance covering me for COVID, um, so really important to have. Another one, how are you? How did you become financially free, work remotely as far as your, and also your favorite country so far? Um, save all my money to commit to something that I love, which is YouTube and uh, favorite country so far has to be Indonesia because this is now <laughs> my fourth time here. Uh, next one from Philip. Do you miss partying and how do you meet new people? Um, partying really wasn't much of a thing for me before the pandemic so really don't miss it that much at the moment. And how do I meet people? I join a lot of Facebook groups when I'm traveling to a new country so that's a great way to meet people. Just say hey um, I've just moved to Vietnam or Indonesia and I'm um, looking to meet new people. And people are usually very op open and welcoming because most expats living in a different country are there for the same thing to connect and meet new people. So it's pretty easy. Next question, um, are people still traveling from the content creators that I've seen on YouTube? Yes, they are still traveling. Next one is from Quattro. Why do you prefer living outside your own country, far away uh, in another place? Um, that's something I never really thought about um, but ever since I started traveling in 2017 um, I flew to Latvia and then off to Ukraine to visit my family and that was really my first experience in traveling by myself and I just fell absolutely in love with it uh, just the whole experience of being on my own um, being somewhat independent but you know waking up in a new country not knowing what you're gonna do the, today and not knowing your surroundings is just something that's thrilling to me personally and uh, ever since I just had the travel bug and ever since I've been basically just trying to find how can I do it where I don't have to worry about money or anything else in the world and to me at the moment that's through YouTube. Next one, how do I convince my parents? That's a very good question. It really depends on what kind of background you're coming from. For me, um, me and my mom immigrated to the United States when I was very young, six years old. So traveling essentially was already kind of in me. Um, but you know, what's funny about my experience is that my mother immigrated me to the United States so that I can have a better life and have a better opportunity in the United States. And what's funny about the situation now is that I'm trying to escape the United States and live and travel abroad. And she's just like, what are you thinking? But overall, my parents are very open to it um, as long as I communicate with them and tell them where I am. Um, next one for my friend, let's see. I know there's so many cons, but what about the pros? Uh, so basically pros and cons about traveling during the pandemic. Pros is that it's a lot cheaper. Uh, cons is that there is more of a headache in visa requirements and travel restrictions so you really have to do your research as to what the restrictions are to the country you're traveling to so that's been the biggest headache in uh, and doing all the research from Rory uh, make it a reality for me and Harrison please and thanks uh, you guys can do it uh, just start making money online <laughs> um, how do you budget so before I started traveling, I started using this brand new app, it's called Moneyfy. 
So basically I have a limit for the entire year that I'm traveling and I budget out $1,000 every single month. Anytime I make an expense, whether it's cash or credit, I put that into my uh, Monify app and it, it, that's how I track all of my expenses. And then at the end of the month, I make my expense cost of living video depending on what country I'm in. Now, unfortunately, it's I have to do it manually. I haven't found an app that will do it for you. So it's just a hassle. All right, and last one before you guys get bored of this video uh, from Tina. Can you still do the same adventures during the pandemic? And are you worried about testing positive for COVID? Uh, yes, you can somewhat do the same adventures. So when I traveled to Istanbul, they were still doing food tours. Um, you just had to mask up obviously. And they had um, the tour company actually provided you with masks, which is very nice. And they provided hand sanitization. So they took you to the, all the local restaurants. It's just that they were enforcing um, more measures. Um, as far as Bali is concerned and Indonesia, um, they are doing uh, temperature checks in every single building. Um, when I did the ATV tour, I mean, they weren't really doing uh, anything different for COVID, except for the fact that I just arrived with my mask on um, and washed my hands before doing the ATV tour. That's really about it. Um, when you're visiting restaurants, they're just doing temperature checks and you have to keep your mask on, especially now the government's really enforcing it uh, critically and you just have to wash your hands. Um, am I worried about testing positive for COVID? Absolutely, yes. So far, I've been doing really well with washing my hands, masking up when I'm in public, and social distancing. But for worst case scenario, I do have health insurance with Safety Wing. So that's gonna be the last one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit something different for me. If you guys are interested in, in me doing more of these talking segments where I just pick a different topic and speak to you guys a little bit more about it, let me know. And of course, really curious to know your opinion about the situation that right now. Have you guys been traveling? How far? What's your experience been like? So next week we will continue the rest of my trip and adventures across from Bali and the surrounding islands. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.